but this ain't about me. Two, three, fuck it. We finish our wash day, y'all. Yeah! Well, we're done the washing part. <laughs> Don't get too excited. We're finished washing our hair. We've now gotten out the shower. Quick little tidbit. Do not dry your hair with a body towel. It's okay maybe once because you might have forgot it. Use a t-shirt or a terry cloth. One of those turby twist things that y'all have seen me use in the beginning of my videos. Use one of those body towels cause friction, cause frizz, and it sucks the moisture out of your hair. Use a t-shirt or a fiber tile. I think it's fiber, not micro. Use one of the hair turby twist things or a t-shirt. Trust me, it saves on friction and frizz and it helps keep moisture in your hair. All right, we're done with washing our hair. Now we're moving on to styling. Yay! So I grouped leave-ins and curl creams together. Leave-in conditioners and curl creams provide the first levels of moisture and definition for styling. Now we're going to, before I go into the leave-in conditioners and the curl creams, we have the LCO and the LOC method. Two methods that I'm sure if you have researched anything about natural hair, I'm sure it's come up. The LCO method is liquid cream oil. And the LOC method is liquid oil cream. Those methods are meant to seal moisture into the hair. Whichever one works for your hair is one you are going to have to figure out for yourself. Moving back to our leave-in conditioners and our curl creams. Leave-in conditioners are usually, they can be really thick but some can be really light. Some people believe leave-ins have no place in a hair routine. It's just up to you. You don't have to use a leave-in. You could go right in with some type of curl cream. Um, since I cut my hair, I started using leave-ins. I started applying lots of levels of moisture. When my hair was longer, I used leave-ins mixed with some type of curl cream. But this ain't about me. Leave-in conditioners that I would recommend are the Mazzani Miracle. The Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk Leave-In. She's expensive and she's lightweight. However, it does provide a base level of moisture. I'm not going to say you could just put this. in your hair and walk out the door but it does provide a good level of moisture i love mazani products however they are salon gray products so she's expensive she's 22 dollars at sephora Moving on to another one that i love and honestly i forget how much i loved it until i used it recently it's the pantene gold series detangling milk um not this not the most thick but she's not thin either very moisturizing it doesn't provide um it does provide a little bit of definition but not a whole lot on my hair and she is $7.99 at target um moving into sorry i have my leave-ins and curl creams combined the myel organics pomegranate and honey leave-in another one that's super moisturizing smells amazing it's $12.99 at target and does provide a little bit of definition and then we have the long, the As I Am Long and Luxe Pomegranate Grow Yogurt. That one is close to this consistency of the Pantene Gold Series leave-in. Not too thick, not too thin. Smells pretty good. Provides a little bit of definition. Very, very moisturizing. And she is $10.50 at Target. Moving on to curl creams. Curl creams are thicker. Curl creams provide a little bit of definition. If you're not sure which form of product to use on your hair, if you have thinner hair, I wouldn't use heavy butters and heavy creams. That's going to weigh your hair down. If you have thicker hair, the thicker your hair is, it can handle thick products. So if you have super thick hair, it can handle the creams, it can handle the butters. It can handle more steps. If your hair is thinner, I would stick to less steps because your hair is going to be weighed down. And if you like that big fluffy look or you like definition, you don't want it stuck to your head, then I would use thinner products and maybe one semi-thick product. But if you have thin hair, I would not recommend a super thick cream or a super quick thick butter. However, if your hair is thick, girl, use that cream, use that butter. So, gooing, gooing. 
Moving into curl creams, we have the Pantene Gold Series Hydrating Buttercream. Um, again, like I said, the Gold Series was formulated and curated by black scientists and tested on people of color with curly hair. So it is bomb. It is. It does exactly what it says. It's a hydrating buttercream. Provides a little bit of definition. Um, one that I love is the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. Did I mention that one? I think I'm, I'm gonna mention it again. The Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk, semi-thick, super moisturizing. She's $13.99 at Target. Twisting butter that I love for twist outs is Camille Rose Almond Jaw Twisting Butter. If you want to master twist outs, that is the butter for you. And I think you could use it if you have thinner hair. I would just use less. She is $16.99 at Target. Super moisturizing, bomb.com, boom. The another leave-in by Camille Rose is the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Leave-in. Um, it is $13.99 at Target. It's the one that looks like honey. That one is super moisturizing as well. Semi-thick, so use at your own discretion if you are not sure if your hair can handle thick products or not. The pomegranate, the Myel Organics Pomegranate and Honey Twisting Souffle, amazing for twist outs thebomb.com it smells amazing it's a lot mm, i think it's thinner just slightly thinner than the almond jar twisting butter she's 12.99 at target sticking with that same collection the myel organics pomegranate and honey curl sculpting custard is also a good gel um not super thick kind of like jelly consistency well obviously it's a custard so it's not super thick I would recommend that one for some people use it as a base product in their wash and goes. I've seen some people use it as twist outs. I've used it as both and it's done fine. Again, all these products boil down to what your hair likes and how you like your hairstyle. But she is $12.99 at Target. Um, sticking with the As I Am Long and Luxe Pomegranate line, the Curl Enhancing Smoothie by them is amazing for twist outs, amazing for base product and wash and go. Um, and depending on your hair type, you could use that as a leave-in in your wash and goes or twist outs. But she is $10.95 on As I Am's website. Another brand that I absolutely love is Black Owned is the Talia YG Curly Curl Cream. Another cult favorite. People use it as a leave-in in their wash and goes. It's amazing for twist outs. And it is $7.99 at Target. Another cult favorite is the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In. Cult favorite, super good for detangling, super moisturizing, and she is thin in consistency. She's $11.99 at Target. And then the Kinky Curly Not Today Custard is $16.99. And it's like um, same consistency as the Myel Organics Custard. Actually, it's a little thinner. People use that as their gel in their wash and goes. People use that as their gel for their twist outs. Using it as a wash and go, you might use more depending on how thick your hair is. And then you might use less depending on how thin your hair is. But those two are cult favorites. That one had the most products because I think styling products are very important. I think if you're going to splurge on anything, splurge on deep conditioners and styling products. Because that's what people see. That's what people are. Your style is what people see. That's how you wear your hair. So... I love my styling products and that's why I made sure I included literally all the best ones that I know of. Whew, another break. Oh, I'm sorry. The main choice Heavenly Halo Shine Mist or Shine Oil. I love that oil. It smells amazing. I don't like the packaging. I would probably put that in another spray bottle, but it is $14.99 at Target. Another oil that I love at the end of my styling routine, and if you've watched any of my styling videos with my shortcut, I love using this as a final step. It is the Cream of Nature Anti-Humidity uh, Oil Mist. It is $7.69 at Target. And like I said, you can use any natural oil. Literally, you can buy the natural oils from your local organic store or the cooking aisle. <laughs> the oils work. So... I'm not too particular about my oils, but I thought I would include some information about oils and some of my favorite ones. Gels. Provides hold, does not provide moisture. Various gels give various levels of hold. 
Light hold gels usually result in fluffy, voluminous hair, but are more prone to frizz. Extreme hold gels usually come with shrinkage, a gel cast, and longer lasting hair, and it will gain volume as the days go on. Again, it boils down to what your hair likes and what you like your hair to look like. I personally don't love light hold gels. My hair is super frizzy naturally, and light hold gels just don't define my hair to the level that I want. Um, if that's the look you love and that's the look that your hair, if that's the look that you love, then use lighter hold gels. I personally don't mind a gel cast. You can scrunch it out with oil. I like hold. I want my hair to be defined. I want my hair to have less frizz like on the first three days and I want my hair to last at least a week. My favorite gels are the Wetline Extreme Gel. It's $2.99 at Target. The Eco Styler Jamaican Black Castor Oil Gel. She's $3.99 at Target. Talia Waji's Curly Curl Jello. That's one of. All right, my camera got tired. Target. The Talia Waji Curly Curl Jello is eight dollars at Target. That is, I would say, like a light hold. The Curl Sealer by Talia Waji is also a light hold gel, and it's eight dollars. The Main Choice Crystal Orchid uh, Biotin Infused Gel. I would say it's more like medium closer to extreme hole is $11.99 at Target. The main choice ancient Egyptian 24 karat gold twisting gel is, um, I would say that's an extreme hole gel and it's $14.99. And the Camille Rose gel curl maker is like a slimy texture. I would say if your hair defines really easy and isn't super frizzy naturally, the Camille Rose gel maker. Camille Rose Gel Curl Maker is an amazing gel for you. However, she's expensive and she's $21.99 at Target. I included heat protectants in this video because I understand that some naturals do like to style their hair on blown, blown out hair and like to straighten their hair themselves. So be mindful that the more you straighten your hair, the less healthy your curls will be. That's just a fact. They're not going to be as healthy as they could be if you were to like never straighten your hair. And blow drying your hair can damage your hair if you do it often and you don't blow dry in the right manner. There are various ways to blow dry your hair. You could pull it taut at the end and just take a concentration nozzle and go up and down. Or you can section it and let it air dry a little bit and then blow dry it. But anywho, I included heat protectant to provide protectant and a shield from direct heat, i.e. a blow dryer, a flat iron, or a wand curler. Some of, I, now mind y'all, I don't straighten my hair, but I thought I would include some of my favorite heat protectants that I have used in the past to blow dry my hair and to heat style my hair. I have the Shea Moisture Sugar Cane Extract and Metal Foam Seed. I use that one on wet hair before I blow dry my hair every time, whether it's for protective styles or not. That is $8.99 at Target. And then the Mayel Magungo Oil Thermal and Heat Protectant would be a great one if you are interested in styling your hair with a flat iron or a wand curl. And she is $7 on the Mayel website. So I know that this video has a lot of information. Rewatch sections, break it down. I'm going to go one more time through the steps of a hair regimen. Remember, it is your preference and what your hair likes. So try different ways with your wash regimen. Try what works. The next video in the series will be me doing a wash day and a twist out routine. So I will include more information about my personal wash day. And moving into stylers, we have leave-ins, we have curl creams, and we have custards, and we have gels, and we have oils. And that's the styling potion potion styling portion of our wash day i know there was a lot of information in this video y'all watch this video more than once digest all the information go out and get your products because the next video in the series will be us actually washing our hair and styling our hair if you have any more questions in regards to anything in this video leave them down below or hit me up on instagram i will leave my instagram on the screen Thank you guys for watching this video. I told y'all I got you. We are coming out of this quarantine with popping hair. I hope this video was helpful. Please hit me up with feedback for the videos that will come in the series later on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, support is free. Like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!